So in this video, we are going to solve some problems related to chain rules. Now what is the chain rule? The chain rule is just the same as the derivatives but a bit different because we have to derive more. So let us see this question in one. For the following exercise, given y equals f of u and u equals d of x, we have to find the derivative. Now we have y here as 3u and u is given as 2x squared. So we will put u in the place of 3u minus 6. So y will be equal to 3 multiplied by 2x squared minus 6. Now we will multiply this 3 inside the bracket. So we'll have y equals to 6x squared minus 6. Now to find the derivative of this, because we have minus here, we will write down the minus. We will find the derivative for each one individually. Now the derivative of 6, because it's a number, the derivative is 0. And the derivative of 6x squared, well, this is the power rule. You will take 2 and multiply it by 6, you will get 12. And then from the x or from the power, you will subtract 1, which will give us 1. So we will have x power 1. And this here will be the derivative. So the derivative finally is 12x. So for this question, it's just like the previous one. So y is f of u. And u is given as 7x minus 4. So we have to put the u in the place of u in the y. So we'll have y equals to 6. Instead of u, we will write 7x minus 4 cube. Now from this part, we will start our chain rule. Now, how can you solve this? So you will take the 3 and multiply it by 6. You will get 18. Then you will write this equation just as it is. And then you will subtract from the power 1, which will give us 2. After that, you will derive what's in here and multiply it outside. So let us derive 7x minus 4. So when you derive 7x minus 4, you have the minus here, so we we'll write down the minus. And the derivative of 4 is 0. And the derivative of 7x is always 7. So we will multiply it by the derivative, which is 7. So y dash will be equal to 18 in bracket 7x minus 4 squared multiplied by 7. So when you multiply 7 by 18, you will get y dash as 126. 7x minus 4 squared. And this here is the derivative. Now for question number 3, we just have to find the sine of u. Now y will be equal to sine of u. Instead of u, we will write this equation here. So sine of 5x minus 1. Now this is another chain rule. So how can you solve for this question? So first of all, you will find the derivative of sine. Now the derivative of sine is cos. And then you will write this as how it is. So you will have cos 5x minus 1. After that, you will find the derivative of this value inside. Now the derivative of 5x minus 1 is 5. So finally, we will have the derivative of y as 5 cos 5x minus 1. Now for this question here, we have to find the derivative of y. So y equals to cos u. But instead of u, we have here this value. So you'll write cos of negative x divided by 8. Now how to derive this? Well we know that cos x equals to negative sine x. So how can we find this 
this is different well this is the chain rule now what can we do so to solve this you start off by deriving this cos so the, der the derivative of cos is negative sine then you will write this value as it is so you write negative x divided by 8 multiplied by the derivative of this value so what is the derivative of negative x over 8 well negative x over 8 is the same as writing negative 1 over 8x so the derivative of this is negative 1 over 8 so multiplied by negative 1 over 8 now what can we do we can multiply the negative with the negative sign so we will have here sign negative x over 8 multiplied by 1 over 8 and what else can we do we can remove the negative sign outside so we will have here negative sign x divided by 8 multiplied by 1 over 8 is the same as writing divided by 8 and this here will be the final derivative or the final value see this question we have to find the derivative of y tan u now y is equal to tan u but instead of u we have this value so we write down tan 9x plus 2 now how to find the derivative now what do we know we know that 10x is equal to sec squared of x so to find the derivative of this we will start off by finding the derivative of 10 the so derivative of 10 is sec squared x and instead of x we will write 9x plus 2 and then we will find the derivative of this value now the derivative of 9x plus 2 is well we have the plus here so we we'll write down plus the derivative of 2 is 0 and the derivative of 9x is 9 so the derivative of this value is 9 so the final answer would be 9 6 squared 9x plus 2 So find dy over dx for each function. So we have to find the derivative. So let us see this question here. We have y equals to ln of sec x. Now what do we know about ln? We know that the derivative of ln x equals to 1 over x. And then you will derive x. So we will get the derivative of x is 1. So that's why it's 1 over x. Now here we will do the same thing. Now, what is the derivative of this here? So, we will write 1 over x, which is sec x here. So, 1 over sec x. And then we will find the derivative of sec x and we will write it up over here. So, the derivative of sec x is sec x tan x. So we'll write the derivative over here on top. So we'll have sec x tan x divided by sec x. Now the sec x and the sec x will cancel out. So we will finally have our y dash as tan x. Now for question number two, we have to find the derivative of cosec. Now, what do we know? We know that cosec x, the derivative of cosec x is negative cosec x multiplied by cot x. And then you'll find the derivative of x, which is 1. So multiplied by 1. Now, the derivative of cosec is negative cosec x. Now, instead of x, we'll write this, which is pi x plus 1 multiplied by cot x cot now instead of x we'll write pi x plus 1 
and then we'll find the derivative of this also inside and write it here multiplication so you'll find the derivative of pi x plus 1 so how can you find the derivative we have plus so we'll write down plus here and the derivative of 1 is 0 and the derivative of pi x is pi so we will multiply here by pi so what did we do, did we, do? we first found the derivative of cos x so we got negative cos x pi x plus 1 multiplied by cot pi x plus 1 then after that you derive what is inside so we got pi so finally the answer can be written as negative pi cos x pi x plus 1 multiplied by cot pi x plus 1 now to find the derivative of this question so first of all we have cot squared x now this can also be written as cot x squared so we have here the power rule now in the power rule we will take 2 and multiply it by the coefficient here so we'll have 2 and then you'll write this down cot x and then from the power you'll subtract 1 so we'll have 2 cot x power 1 after that you'll derive what is inside the brackets so the derivative of cot x is negative cos x squared x so we will write here multiplied by negative cos x squared x so finally we can write our answer as negative 2 cot x multiplied by cos x squared x so let's find the derivative of this function well cos power 3 of pi of x this can also be written as cos pi x power 3 now this here is the power rule so you'll multiply 3 here to the coefficient so you'll have 3 cos pi x and then from the power you'll subtract 1 this will give us power 2 after that you'll multiply it by the derivative of this function here inside so what is the derivative of cos pi x so how can we derive this so first of all we'll derive cos the derivative of cos is negative sine and then you'll write pi x as it is and then you'll derive what's in the bracket so the derivative of pi x is pi so we we'll write here pi so this is the derivative of cos pi x and now we will write it here now the final answer can be written as when we multiply 3 by pi and by negative we will have negative 3 pi cos pi x squared multiplied by sine pi x now let's find the derivative of this function so we have the square root of cos cosec inverse of x now this can also be written as cosec inverse of x power half because we know that the square root is also equal to power half so how can we solve this we first over here have the power rule so we'll multiply this here to the coefficient so we'll have half cosec inverse of x power negative half because when you subtract half from one you'll get negative half multiplied by the derivative of what is inside here and what do you know we know that the derivative of cosec inverse of x equals to negative one divided by the absolute value of x multiplied by the square root of x squared minus 1 
So multiplied by negative 1 divided by the absolute value of x multiplied by Now you can leave it like this or you can also simplify it So we'll have here cosec inverse of x in square root multiplied by the absolute value of x multiplied by the square root of x squared minus 1 and on the top we have minus 1 and in the denominator we also have 2 so this is y dash So how can we solve this question? Well, let us see. We have here division. In the denominator we have x, but in the numerator we have no x. So this is not quotient rule. Now how can we solve this? So we have here 1 over sine squared of x. So sine squared of x can be written as sine x squared. And this can also be written as sine x power negative 2. Now how to find the derivative of this? Well, this is the power rule. So you'll start off by taking negative 2 and multiplying it by the coefficient. So we will have here negative 2 sine x and then you'll subtract from the coefficient to 1 so we'll have power negative 3 multiplied by the derivative of sine x so what is the derivative of sine x the derivative of sine x is cos x so this here is the derivative so let us find the derivative of this function so you have here cos inverse of the value. So you know that cos inverse of x is negative 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus x squared multiplied by the derivative of x which is 1. So we'll do the same thing here. So cos inverse of 1, the derivatives, negative 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus instead of x squared we will write square root of x but squared multiplied by the derivative of the square root of x now the square root of x can also be written as x power half so the derivative is you take the half and multiply it here so you'll get half x power you'll take from the power and subtract one so power negative half so we'll multiply here by 1 over 2 x power negative half now you can leave it like this y dash will be equal to negative 1 divided by the square root of 1 minus square root of x squared now the square root of x squared is the same as writing x so we will write x multiplied by half means that 1 over 2 so multiplied by 2 and then x power negative half is the same as writing 1 over the square root of x so we'll write here multiplied by 1 over the square root of x So for this question, to find the derivative, we have to find the derivative of sine of this value. So what do you know? You know that sine x equals to cos x. So let us find the derivative of this by using the chain rule. So instead of sine, we will write cos. And then our x is cos 7x. And then we will find the derivative of this and, write and multiply it here outside. So it is the derivative of cos 7x. So we have here cos 7x. Now the derivative of cos is negative sine 
and then we have 7x then we'll multiply it by the derivative of 7x so first of all we will find the derivative of cos and write it here after that we will write the value which is in front which is 7x after that we will find the derivative of 7x so the derivative of 7x is 7 and we will write it here now all of this is the derivative of cos 7x so we'll write it here multiplied by negative sine 7x multiplied by 7 so this can also be written as negative 7 cos in bracket cos 7x multiplied by sine 7x and this here is the final derivative so for question number 9 how can we find the derivative of this function? Well, we have here cot inverse, and we know that the derivative of cot inverse of x is equal to negative 1 divided by 1 plus x squared multiplied by the derivative of x, which is 1. So let us just put this right over here. So the derivative of this function will be negative 1 divided by 1 plus instead of x squared we have our x as this so we'll write the square root of 4 minus x squared multiplied by the derivative of the derivative of the square root of 4 minus x and what is the derivative of square root of 4 minus x squared well this can be written as 4 minus x squared power half to find the derivative, you'll multiply the half by the coefficient, which will give us half 4 minus x squared, and then you'll subtract from the power 1, which will give us minus half. And because this is the chain rule, and you have more than two values here inside, you'll find the derivative of what is inside here. So what is the derivative of 4 minus x squared? Well, you have the minus, so I'll write the minus down. The derivative of 4 is 0, and the derivative of x squared is 2x. So you'll multiply this here by negative 2x. So now, we will write this here, multiplied by this. So we'll have here, multiplied by half 4 minus x squared power negative half multiplied by negative 2x now let us simplify this more we'll multiply the negative 2x with the negative 1 this will give us positive 2x and in the denominator we have the square root and the square root cancel out so we'll have 1 plus 4 minus x squared multiplied by half means divided by 2 so we have half is the same as writing divided by 2 multiplied by this here 4 minus x squared power half and if you're wondering why I wrote it in the denominator it's because it has negative and when you have x power negative 2 is the same as writing 1 over x power 2. So now we can simplify this more. The 2 can cancel out with the 2. And then here we will have 4 plus 1 is 5. So we'd have here a final answer of x divided by 5 minus x squared multiplied by 4 minus x squared power half this here would be the derivative now for question number 10 y equals to cot cube of 4x plus 1 so we can rewrite this and it can be written as cot 4x plus 1 in cube how to find the derivative of this 
instead of by taking 3 and multiplying it by coefficient and from the 3 you'll subtract to 1. After that you'll find the derivative of this function and write it over here. So 3 multiplied by the coefficient is 3 cot 4x plus 1. You'll write it just as how it is. 3 minus 1 is 2 multiplied by the derivative of cot 4x plus 1. Now what do we know? We know that cot x is equal to negative cosec squared x. So here we have cot 4x plus 1. So you have multiplied by negative cosec squared of 4x plus 1. And then you'll find the derivative of this and put it outside. So the derivative of 4x plus 1 is 4. So we'll multiply it here by 4. So now this is your derivative. But what you can do is you can multiply the 4 and the negative and the 3 to have negative 12 cot 4x plus 1. squared multiplied by cosec squared of 4x plus 1. Now let us find the derivative here. So we have e power sine 3 multiplied by x. So e power sine 3x, how can we solve this? What do we know? We know that when we have a power the derivative is you write the power as it is in the number multiplied by ln of the number here multiplied by the derivative of the power so let us do this here the same thing so we have a power here so we write the power as it is and then we'll get ln of this number here which is ln e multiplied by the derivative of sine 3x and what is the derivative of sine 3x well to derive this you'll first derive this here sine so we'll have cos and then you'll find the derivative of 3x and multiply it here outside so the derivative of 3x is 3 and then this number you write is just as how it is. So we'll be having here multiplied by cos 3x multiplied by 3. Now we know that ln e is 1. So no need to write it. So we will have here the function or the derivative as e sine 3x multiplied by cos. 3x multiplied by 3. Now you can write it like this or you can multiply the 3 in the beginning. It's all fine. For question number 12, we have here 3x minus 2 in brackets power 6. So this is the power rule. So we have 3x minus 2 power 6. The first thing you'll do, you'll take 6 and multiply it to the coefficient and you'll subtract from the power 1. After that, you'll find the derivative of this and write it here outside multiplied. So as you might think, let's do this. So 6 multiplied by the coefficient is 6. And then you write this as it is. So 6, 3x minus 2. Power 6 minus 1 is 5. Multiplied by the derivative of 3x minus 2. So we have here 3x minus 2. How to derive it? We have the minus, you write down the minus. The derivative of 2 is 0 and the derivative of 3x is 3. So the derivative here is 3. So you write here multiplied by 3. So this here will be our derivative. So y dash will be, when you take 3 multiplied by 6, you'll have 18 3x minus 2 power 5. So this is just like the previous question.
we have power rule here so you have 3x squared plus 1 in cube so the thing which we will do here we'll take 3 and multiply it by the coefficient and then from the 3 we'll subtract 1 and then we will multiply with the derivative of this function so let us do this now 3 multiplied by the coefficient is 3 and then we'll write here 3x squared plus 1 3 minus 1 is 2 so now we will multiply again here by the derivative of 3x squared plus 1 so we have here 3x squared plus 1 we have the plus here to get the derivative we we'll write down the plus and then the derivative of 1 is 0 and the derivative of 3x squared is 6x because we'll take the 2 and multiply it by 3 and then from the 2 we'll subtract 1 so here we will write multiplied by 6x now what you can do is you can multiply the 6x with the 3 and finally we'll have our derivative as 18x in brackets 3x squared plus 1 power 2 So in this question, they want us to find the derivative of the following functions. So let us see what we have here. We have here 3x squared plus 3x minus 1 power 4. So how to solve this? We'll take the 4 and multiply it by the coefficient. So this will give us 4. And then you'll write this as it is. And then after that, you'll subtract from the coefficient 1. So you'll have power 3. And then you will multiply by the derivative of this function. Now what is the derivative of 3x squared plus 3x minus 1? So we have here the plus sign. So you write down the plus. We have the minus sign. You write down the minus sign. And then the derivative of 3x squared is 6x. The derivative of 3x is 3 and the derivative of neg of 1 is 0 so this will be here the derivative so now we will multiply it here and then finally this will be our answer now here we have the power rule so what will we do? We'll take the negative 2 and multiply it by the coefficient. So we'll have here negative 2 and then we'll write this down as it is. So we'll have here 5 minus 2x and then from the power you'll subtract 1. So we'll be left here with negative 3. After that you'll find the derivative of this function. Now the derivative of 5 minus 2x is negative 2. So now we will multiply it here by negative 2. So now this will be our final answer. What you can do is you can multiply the negative 2 with the negative 2. It will give us positive 4. And then in brackets we have 5 minus 2x power negative 3. Now for sine inverse of x squared, now dear, we know that sine of x or sine inverse of x equals to 1 over the square root of 1 minus x squared multiplied by the derivative of x which is 1. So we'll do the same thing here. So we'll have the sine inverse of x squared, we'll have here 1 divided by 1 or the square root of 1 minus x squared but instead of x we have x squared squared multiplied by the derivative of x squared is 2x so now this will be our final answer so y dash will be equal to when you multiply 2x by 1 you'll have here 2x divided by the square root of 1 
minus x squared multiplied by squared will have here x power 4. So question number 4, we have to find the derivative of this function when we have cube. So this is the power rule. So you have 2x cubed minus x squared plus 6x plus 1 in cube. So what do we have to do? We have to take the 3 and multiply it here in the coefficient. So we'll have here 3 multiplied by, we'll write this down as it is. And then we'll subtract from the power 1. So we'll have 2. And then we'll find the derivative of 2x cubed minus x squared plus 6x. Now what do we have here? We have 2x cubed minus x squared plus 6x plus 1. First of all, write down the negative and, and plus signs down. So we'll have here minus, we'll have here plus, and we'll have here plus. And then what is the derivative of 2x cubed? Well, it is 6x squared. And what is the derivative of x squared? It is 2x. And what is the derivative of 6x? It is 6. Plus the derivative of 1, which is 0. Now, all of this will be multiplied here. So, we'll have our final answer as 3, 2x cubed minus x squared plus 6x plus 1 and squared multiplied by 6x squared minus 2x plus 6. Now this is also the power rule. So what will we do first? We'll take the negative 3 and multiply it to the coefficient. So we'll have here negative 3 10x added by sine x. And then from the power, we'll subtract 1. So when you subtract 1 from the power, we'll have negative 4. And then we'll multiply with the derivative of this function here. Now what is the derivative of 10x plus sine x? So if you have plus, you'll write down the plus as it is. And then the derivative of sine x is cos x. And the derivative of 10x is sec squared x. So now we'll multiply all of this over here. So we'll have here sec squared x plus cos x. So now this will be our final answer. Now for question number six. This is a power rule here. Now you'll take the 7 and multiply it by the coefficient. So we'll have here 7 x over 7 plus 7 over x. So after multiplying, just write this as it is. And then you'll subtract from the 7 1, which would give us 6. After that, you'll multiply it with the derivative of what's inside here. So we have here x over 7 plus 7 over x. This can also be written as 1 over 7 x added by 7 multiplied by x power 1. So what is the derivative of this? Well, the derivative of 1 over 7x is 1 over 7. Plus, the derivative of this is, because this is the power rule, you'll take this and multiply it by 7. It will give us negative 7x. And then you'll subtract from the power 1, which will give us negative 2. So now we'll write this here. And this here is the final answer. So how can we find the derivative of this question? So first of all, we have the power, so we'll use the power rule. We will take the 3 and multiply it by the coefficient. So we'll have here 3 multiplied by 1 plus 10 inverse of x. Then from the 3, we will subtract 1. So we'll have power 2 
multiplied by we will find the derivative of what's inside the square roots and what's inside the square brackets and we will write it here so what is the derivative of 1 plus 10 inverse of x well we have plus so we'll write here plus the derivative of 1 is 0 and the derivative of 10 inverse of x is 1 divided by x squared plus 1 so we will write here 1 divided by x squared plus 1 so our final answer will be 3 in brackets 1 plus 10 inverse of x squared divided by x squared plus 1 Now how can we solve this question? We have multiplication and on the left side you have x and on the right side you have x. So we will use the product rule. Now what does the product rule say? It says that f dash g plus f g dash is the derivative. Now our f is given as x squared. So f dash of x squared is 2x. And our g is given as cos power 4x, which is the same as writing cos x power 4. So to find the derivative of this, we'll take the 4 and multiply it by the coefficients. So we'll have 4 cos x. And then we'll subtract from the power 1. So we'll have power 3 multiplied by the derivative of cos x, which is negative sine x. Now let's substitute the values. So f dash we got as 2x multiplied by g which is cos 4 power x added by f which is 2x which is x squared multiplied by g dash which is 4 cos x cube multiplied by negative sine x. Now we can leave it like this or we can multiply the values here. So we'll have here 2x cos 4x added by negative 4x squared cos x cubed multiplied by sine x. Now for question number 9. So what do we know? We know that the derivative of sine x is the same as is cos x. So let's just rewrite this and find the derivative. So this here can be written as sine x power 5 because we have the power here. Now to find the derivative of this we will use the power rule. So we'll take 5 and multiply it here. We'll get 5 and then you'll write this just as how is it, it is. So it has 5 sine x and then from the 5 you'll subtract to 1 so we'll have power 4 after that you'll multiply by the derivative of what's inside so the derivative of sine x is cos x now for 10 of sec of x how can we do this we know that the derivative of 10x is sec squared x. So how about this? So to do this, we'll start off by deriving the 10. So we'll write here sec squared of x is this one here. So our x is sec x. And then we'll find the derivative of this and write it outside. Multipl multiplied. So derivative of sec x is sec x tan x so we'll write here sec x tan x so finally we can just write this here as y dash equals to sec squared multiplied by sec x multiplied by sec x tan x so 
of this question here we have here division and in the numerator we have x and in the denominator we have x so this is the quotient rule now what is the quotient rule the quotient rule says that f dash g minus f g dash divided by g squared is the derivative So now let us see what we have. We have f as e power negative x and we have g as x. So let us find f dash and let us find g dash. Now how can we find the derivative of this? Well the derivative of any power you start off by writing the power as it is. After that you will multiply it by ln of the number here. So ln e. After that, you will multiply by the derivative of this here. So the derivative of negative x is negative 1. So our f dash should be equal to e power x. And because l and e is 1, we will not write it because anything multiplied by 1 is the same thing. Multiplied by negative 1. This would give us negative e power negative x. Now we'll also find g dash. The derivative of x is always 1. Now let us substitute the values. So in the denominator, in the numerator, we would have f dash, which is negative e power negative x, multiplied by g, which is x, subtracted by f, which is e power negative x, multiplied by g dash which is 1 divided by g squared now this is g so g squared means that we have x squared now we can just finally write this as e or e minus x multiplied by x subtracted by e power negative x divided by x squared and this here is the derivative. Now for question number 12, how to find the derivative? Well, we have here power. And when we have power, like when if, for example, if we have b power x, how can we find the derivative of this? Well, the derivative is, you'll first write b power x as it is, and then you'll multiply by ln of b. And then you'll multiply by the derivative of x, which is 1. So we'll do the same thing here. So to find y dash, first of all, we'll write this as it is. And then we'll multiply by ln of this number here, which is e. And then we'll multiply it by the derivative of 2x plus 5. Now the derivative of 2x plus 5 is We'll take the plus and write it down here and the derivative of 5 is 0 and the derivative of 2x is 2. So we'll multiply it here by 2. Now if we rewrite this, we'll have a final answer of when you take 2 and multiply it by e, you'll have 2e power 2x added by 5. And because l and e is 1, and when you multiply anything by 1, it's the same thing. So we will not write it. So this here will be the final answer. Inverse of 1 over x. We know first of all that the derivative of sec inverse of x is 1 over the absolute value of x multiplied by the square root of x squared minus 1 multiplied by the derivative of x which is 1. So we'll do the same thing here. So we'll write 1 divided by the absolute value of x. Now our x is given as 1 over x, which is the same as writing x inverse of 1. So we'll write here x inverse of 1 multiplied by the square root of x squared. Now our x again is x power minus 1. So we'll write here in brackets x power minus 1 squared minus 1 
multiplied by the derivative of x power negative 1 or of our x what is the der derivative of x power ne negative 1 you will take the negative 1 and multiply it by the coefficient which would give us negative 1x and then from the negative 1 you will subtract to 1 so we'll have here power negative 2 so we'll multiply it here by negative x power negative 2 so finally we can write the derivative as negative 1 divided by the absolute value of x power negative 1 multiplied by the square root of x power negative 1 squared minus 1 multiplied by x squared because this is x power negative 2 and we know x power negative 2 is the same as writing 1 over x squared so this question number 14 is the same as part 2 of this video and question number 9 so check it out you'll just find the solution over there so for question number 15 we can solve this now we can rewrite this as e 2x plus 2x power half because we know that the square root is the same as writing power half so now how can we solve this we'll take half and multiply it to the coefficient which will give us half e2x plus 2x power and then we'll subtract from the power 1 so this will give us negative half after that you'll multiply with the derivative of this function now what is the derivative of e power 2x added by 2x so we have here plus we'll write down the plus the derivative of 2x is 2 and the derivative of e2x is we'll start off by finding the derivative of e2x so you write down e2x as it is and then you'll multiply by ln e and then you'll multiply by the derivative of the power which is 2 so ln e is 1 so we'll have the derivative here as e power 2x multiplied by 2 so we can write it here now we'll have here 2e2x added by 2 so you can just leave it like this or you can simplify it more to make it look better so we can write here that our derivative is 2e2x added by 2 and because this is negative it, this is power negative it will go to the denominator so we'll have here e2x plus 2x power half and then we'll write the half here down so half is the same as writing divided by 2 so we'll write it here down now what you can do is you can take common in the numerator so when we take common of 2 we will have here 1 and then you can cancel out this and this so this here will be our final answer So for this question, we have here division. In the numerator, we have x. In the, in the denominator, we have x also. So this is the quotient rule. And the, what does the quotient rule say? The quotient rule says that f dash multiplied by g minus f g dash divided by g squared is the derivative of the function. Now this in the numerator is our f and in the denominator we have our g. Now let us find f dash and let us find g dash. So f dash we have here e, e power x minus e power negative x. So we have the minus we will write down the minus as it is. Now the derivative of e power x well when we have the power 
you will write down the power as it is and then you will multiply it by ln of the number which is ln e and then you will multiply by the derivative of x which is 1 so ln e is 1 and then 1 multiplied by 1 is 1 so finally we will have our derivative as e power x now what about the derivative of e power negative x well the derivative of e power negative x you will write down the value as it is and then you will multiply by ln of the number which is e and then you will multiply by the derivative of negative x which is negative 1 so finally we will have negative e power negative x so we will write here negative e power negative x and as we know that the negative and the negative will make this positive so we will have here e power x plus e power negative x now how about g dash well we have here e power x plus e power negative x and we got here from the previous question that e power x the derivative of e power x is e power x plus the derivative of e power negative x is negative e power negative x so I'll write here negative e power negative x now this will be the derivative of g dash now let us substitute the values so you have f dash as e power x plus e power negative x multiplied by g which is e power x plus e power negative x and then subtracted by f which is given as e power x minus e power negative x multiplied by g dash which is e power x minus e power negative x divided by g squared so you can see here we have the same values and here also we have the same values so we can just write our final answer as e power x plus e power negative x squared subtracted by e power x minus e power negative x squared divided by e power x plus e power negative x Now for this question, how can we find the derivative? Well, we can see here that we have multiplication. And on this side we have x, and on this side we have x. So this here is the product rule. Now what does the product rule say? It says that f dash of g added by fg of this is the derivative. Now this here is f and this here is g. So let us find f dash. Now f dash or the derivative of x squared is 2x. And the derivative of ln 9x is, well we know that the derivative of ln x is 1 over x. And then we will find the derivative of x and write it here on the top. So we will do the same thing here. So the derivative of ln 9x is 1 over 9x and then we'll find the derivative of 9x which is 9 and write it here. So now we'll have the derivative as 9 over 9x but then the 9 will cancel out with the 9. So g dash will be equal to 1 over x. So now let us substitute the values. So you have f dash as 2x multiplied by g added by f which is x squared multiplied by g dash which is 1 over x. Now the x here can cancel with 1x and then we'll finally have the derivative as 2x ln 9x added by x now 
Now for this question here, we have ln. Do you know that the derivative of ln x equals to 1 over x? And then you'll find the derivative of x and multiply it on the numerator. So the derivative of x is 1, so we'll multiply it by 1, which will not make a difference. Now how about this? So we'll start off by writing 1 divided by 4x cubed added by x. And then we'll find the derivative of this function. So the derivative of this function is, you have the plus here, so you'll write down the plus as it is. The derivative of x is 1, and the derivative of 4x cubed is 12x power 2. So we will write this here in the denominator, in the numerator. So finally, we'll have our derivative as 12x squared added by 1 divided by 4x cubed added by x. Now for this question here, we have here multiplication. And then on the left you have x and on the right you have x. So we will use product rule. Now what this product rule says? It says that f dash g added by f g dash is the derivative. Now f is 4x. So f dash will be 4. And g is e power x squared minus 1. So our derivative of o g dash will be, we write this as it is, and then we'll multiply it by ln e, which is 1, so we'll not write it. And then we'll multiply by the derivative of x squared minus 1. So what is the derivative of x squared minus 1? The derivative is 2x. So we'll multiply it by 2x. Now after that, we will just substitute the values in the equation. So we'll have here f dash given as 4 multiplied by g which is e power x squared minus 1 added by f which is 4x multiplied by g dash which is e power x squared minus 1 multiplied by 2x Now we can leave it like this and you will have the final answer. Or you can multiply the 2x with the 4x. So we will have the final answer as 4e power x squared minus 1 added by 8x multiplied by e power x squared minus 1. So question number 20, we have log 7 of 6 x power 4 plus 3 inside of square brackets power 5. So what do we know? We know that log b of x, the derivative is 1 over ln b multiplied by x. And then on the numerator, we have the derivative of x, which is... 1. So we'll do the same thing. So we have log 7 of 6x power 4 plus 3 in brackets power 5. So we'll write to find the derivative. We'll write 1 over ln of 7 multiplied by x which is all of this. And then we'll find the derivative of this and write it in the numerator. So what is the derivative of 6x power 4 plus 3 power 5 in brackets? So this is the power rule. We'll take the 5 and multiply it here and then we'll subtract from the 5, 1 and then we'll find the derivative of what's in the brackets. So we'll have here 5 multiplied by 6x power 4 added by 3 power 4 multiplied by 
the derivative of 6x power 4 plus 3 is 24x cubed. Now we'll write all of this in the numerator. So multiply it by 5. 6 power 4 plus 3 power 4 multiplied by 24x cubed. Now you can write it like this and it will be totally fine. Or you can just write it as when you take 5 and multiply it by 24x cubed, you will have 120x cubed. 6x power 4 added by 3 power 4 divided by ln 7 multiplied by 6x power 4 added by 3 in brackets power 5.